Hey guys, welcome to Low on the Go. I am so excited. I finally get to share with you the long overdue video of my trip to Kenya. I'm just so excited to share it with you because like I said, this is a beautiful, beautiful country and it just makes you want to stay there and enjoy its beautiful vistas and people and food. It's just oh, a lovely, lovely country. So without further ado, let's jump on into this video and take a look. Do I even begin? We are here finally in Nairobi after a very long few days of travel to get to our destination and today's our first official day of being in Nairobi. So we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna jump into our little, I guess, van <laughs> and we're gonna go off to the Masai Mara to start our safari gen... Yes? No. So I feel ready to go and do this safari adventure for ooh, five days. All right, so we'll see you. Well, we'll just see you. staircase where leads to the patio. Let's turn on the light. Oh, it's already on. Where you can sit and enjoy the beautiful view of the sunset, the river, some crocodiles if they seem to be out. We have to be careful because the monkeys can go in. So Exactly, I was just going to say, so you have to lock your tent in three ways. Don't leave any food outside because they'll, they'll come and get it. So let's get inside to our beautiful bed that has bug repellent nets. If they don't bug us at night, get it? Uh -huh. Looks nice and big, hard, whatever. Area to get dressed. First, I must find the light. Oh, top. What I'm loving is everything is super clean. Like nothing is gross. You've got your sink. Bug spray, bug repellent. Look at this big shower. Windows, all private, ready for us to enjoy. Pitch dark. <laughs> That's a bad. That's a bad. It's okay. It's okay. So day two is finally here and we're off to a morning safari. We were up at like five o'clock and we just finished a delicious breakfast. They were so accommodating for me. They really do a good job of just like veganizing everything, giving me lots of food and everything's actually like perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. I'm giving this place two thumbs up, one, two. <laughs> we're just now waiting for a tour guide and we're enjoying the view and the sounds and I'm just so pumped. Also, a bat flew at my head this morning and I ran like a little girl because it was friggin' terrifying. I don't know how well you guys know bats, but they're just like <laughs> Okay, so off we go and we're gonna enjoy our safari. Here we are.
Hey guys, so we're here for day number three. A very exciting safari day. It's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go and try to find cheetahs, maybe some possible hyenas, and we're gonna see the sunrise, and then we're gonna come back for a little break, and then we're gonna go back out to see some more wildlife. Maybe some more zebras. I feel like I haven't seen a whole lot of zebras. That'd be really cool. So yeah, so let's go and do number day three. Come with me. So we learned that when you're on a safari, you can't actually get out of your truck or your Jeep to see the wildlife. You have to stay in the car because the animals respond better to a moving vehicle as opposed to seeing us humans walking about. But right now we were allowed to get out of the truck because we're just doing some passport stuff when you enter the national park. So behind me, I'm not kidding, is the Masai Mara. Way in the distance, if you see those two, one, two, those are hot air balloons. You can do those in the morning, see the sunrise, and then you get to have a beautiful breakfast under a tree and watch whatever walks by. Now granted, you have to make sure wherever you are sitting and having your breakfast or lunch, there isn't any activity because again, like I said, the animals do not respond well when they see human life form walking around. Oh. oh my gosh! She's like, no, actually, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh my god! It's ready. They're looking at us. They Yo. want privacy. just changing but it might be some time in the meantime we get to enjoy being outside of the car and looking at the antelopes and the other animals but you can't go too far because there could be some cats lurking in the grass Hopefully one day that we can come up with a solution to clear this mess. Yambo, yambo. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. So it's our last day here at Crocodile Camp and we were really blessed to see a massive hippo outside of our tent in the river and it was such a magical feeling and it's kind of sad to be leaving, you know, we had such a good time in these three days, we've seen so much, we've done so much 
and I'm not really ready to go, but I, it's time. It's time to go on to the next adventure, which is the Majimoto camp. It's the eco camp, and I'm going to assume it's just going to be as incredible. Let's go have some breakfast and uh, see what today brings. So guys, welcome. This is the part of the Camp. Imagine mean water, water mean hot. So we have a hot spring around here. So we made it to the eco camp, but right now I really got to use the bathroom. So we're going to show you one of the coolest bathroom situations that I have come across on my travels. So you think, oh, it's just a regular outhouse. No, it's not. It's literally a wooden throne in front of a window. You can basically do a number one and two and have this most beautiful view to relax you. So just imagine the time you can take in the bathroom. So this is one of the showers. You go in thinking, okay, it's just a normal shower. And you're just gobsmacked. With this beautiful view, you can shower here naked with the, the natural... <laughs> I'm losing words, guys, because it's just so cool. Very different things in, the, uh, in this echo camp. Uh, as you can see, there is one over here. If you continue the stairs, like there is more tents in the area. But we were so lucky that they gave us the tent that is all the way like at the bottom. And uh, so it's called number three. Osu Goroi. Our room has like this uh, couch over here. We have the view, right? Uh, we can see the sunset. This is our tent. Very beautiful. We have the chairs here. We have our bed. I mean, we brought a lot of luggage, right? But. Uh... <laughs> Okay guys, so we're stuck. <laughs> you wanna show how like we're like, stuck in a mud ditch. You wanna show how I mean there's a beautiful sunrise, but you see all that water and mud? That's what we're trying to drive through in a little Toyota sort of sports car. I don't know who hired it. And Ruben had to drive because he, the driver had to go in the back to put down some special stuff. I don't know if we're going to make it. <laughs> we might be here forever. <gasps> oh, we're actually, oh, Ruben closed the window. She warned me, she said this was gonna be spicy, but I thought to myself, how spicy could it be? Um, it's spicy. I'm actually kind of feeling dizzy, and I'm a bit sweaty, and my nose is running, but the flavors are out of this world, so I just keep on eating it because it's so good. Cheers. Well, guys, what can I say? It's been hell of a journey. Today is essentially our last day here in Kenya and to be honest I'm sad. I'm not ready to leave. I've really 
surprised myself with how much I love this place. We both enjoy this place. It's got just our thoughts and emotions just running. It's a beautiful country, so if you have any sort of you know, desire to come to Africa, Kenya is the country to come and see. Kenya is amazing, the safaris are amazing, the people are amazing, the food is amazing. It couldn't get any better. So yeah, so we just finished our last day here at Boho Eatery and we both had delicious meals and we're just gonna make our way now to the hotel. <laughs> ah. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't subscribed so you never miss an episode. Give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments below because I'd love to hear from you and engage with you and build a beautiful friendship. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. Ha <laughs> ha!